Good morning, everyone. This is Chris with the 365. I am down here at the brand new Veterans Memorial Park, just dedicated. Uh, what follows is a video of that dedication ceremony and an interview with Jeff and Ron, who were instrumental in making this come to pass, along with many, many others. So I hope that you enjoy what you see there. Uh, there will be links to all of the ways to contribute to the Veterans Memorial. There's still a lot more work to do here. So I hope you enjoy the video and have a great day. Bye. Uh, Reinhardt will come up here. Anybody that's going to speak, we'd like you to take a chair back here. Okay, for the presentation of colors. Ladies and gentlemen, you follow me in the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. All veterans, render the hand salute. All others, place your right hand over your heart. Present, home. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order, home. Color guard, post your collars. Color guard, fall out, take your seats. You can be seated. Everyone, you can be seated. Uh, next. Hey, uh, should we do this? Can I turn this around a little bit? Where's Jeff Shaner at? Why don't, why don't you come up, Jeff, and let's welcome everybody this morning. And let's do the welcoming first, not last. Our founder's son. Hello, yes, I'd like to welcome everybody to the park today. Uh, thank you, it's been a long time coming. And um, I, I know Don Noble wants to speak. He's got a place to be, so I'll let him come up right now. Can you hear me? Good morning. I can't begin to imagine how bittersweet this must be for many of you here today. It's taken so long, suffered so many setbacks. So many of who were with you at the beginning are no longer with us. I know it's been tough, and I know there's more to be done. But the fact is, this day did finally arrive. More than anything in my allotted three minutes, I want to thank all of you who were and have been living and departed, involved in this Herculean effort to build this memorial. 
Thank you for never giving up. Thank you for doing this for all the right reasons. Thank you for the honor you are giving to all those who have served our country in the military. Thank you for creating a place where people from Butte County and beyond can come to reflect, heal, grieve, laugh, and impart to children and grandchildren the debts we all owe to those who have served. Thank you for turning a couple of nondescript parcels here on Montgomery Street, overlooking the beautiful Feather River, into from what this day forward should forever be considered hallowed and sacred ground. And lastly, thank you for helping make sure that we never forget. Most of us have, most of us have special service members whose memories we want to preserve. For me, it's this guy. His name is Richard Curtis. He was my high school classmate and friend while growing up in Walnut Creek. During our senior year, Richard decided to leave school to enlist in the Army. This was 1967, at the very height of the Vietnam War. One day at lunchtime in June of that year, Richard surprised us at school. I can picture it as though it were yesterday. I can even remember the weather. He looked so sharp in his army green, smiling and bursting with pride. He was easily the happiest kid on campus that day. That was the last I ever saw of Richard. Almost exactly six months later to the day, on December 12, 1967, Richard was shot and killed by a Viet, Viet Cong sniper. He was 18 years old. Most of those whose names are on this wall didn't die in combat. But without exception, by putting on their uniforms, every one of them knew they were accepting the very real possibility that Richard's fate could also be their own. I can't close without mentioning Stu Shaner, who I'm honored to say I knew for right around 40 years. In my vivid memory of Stu, I had so many, but the last most heartfelt memory I have of Stu was right out here on Montgomery Street. I believe it was the Veterans Day Parade of 2015. And Stu, in great pain, in great determination, struggled his way all the way up Montgomery Street. He paused to greet my wife and me, and he continued on. And I remember turning to my wife saying, oh my gosh, this is such a metaphor for his efforts to make this happen today. So, Sue, here's to you. And to you, Bill. And to all your brothers and sisters who have made today possible. Thank you. That's uh, Don Noble. He was a chairperson of Supplemental Benefits Fund. Uh, next up will be Mary, Mary Redding, uh, Senior Real Estate Property Agent for the County of Butte General Services. I'm fine. You good? Yep, I'm good. Good morning, everyone. As Bill said, my name is Mary Redding. I'm with the Butte County Department of General Services. And it's been my pri privilege for the last 14 and a half years to work with the veterans of Butte County. I didn't really have much to do with the construction of the wall, but I was there through all the pain and agony and saw it in the faces of the members as they watched the dirt being removed, the sand being brought in, and the wall going up. And I think one of the most memorable things for me was what happened on Wednesday night. We had a Veterans Memorial Hall Committee here in Oroville at the hall right next to the park. And when I arrived at 6.30, there was a young man standing in front of the wall. He was acting very solemn, not moving, just standing there. And an hour and a half later when I came out, although he had moved positions, he was still standing in front of the wall. 
I believe that this wall is not just a testament to individuals and family members, but also a permanent, lasting monument for all of us to be inspired by. I want to introduce Kevin Waugh. He is the Butte County Project Manager for this part of the park. Kevin. Thank you, Mary, Bill. Welcome, everybody. Uh, it's a very uh, extreme pleasure for me to be here and address you. I wish to uh, dedicate you know, my service to the veterans. And uh, I have to admit, I, although I spent two years in Iraq uh, building forward operating bases and, and air bases for the military as a civilian contractor, this is my most uh, prized accomplishment. accomplishment. I'd like to uh, introduce the contractor, the general contractor who did this project for us. Rocky Creek Construction's own Brian Henderson. Well, I just wanted to thank the veterans and the veterans committee and the county and all my great subs that helped us pull this project off and just proud to be a part of a, such a memorable project. Thanks. Thank you. Next up, uh, a longtime member of our committee, uh, city council member, Jack Berry. Thank you. Good morning. It's good to see such a crowd here. It's been a long time trying to get this uh, area built. It was hard for me to understand why something that affected every citizen here had taken so long to build. But I digress. Uh, as Don Noble uh, stated, uh, he had friends that uh, didn't survive the war. Two of them that uh, I firmly remember was friends of mine, Thomas Van Campen, who is MIA, David Christensen, a medic. Both of them lost their lives at such a young age. Good friends, members of the community. But I digress. What I'd like to say is I want to thank Butte County, all of the people that were associated with getting this built, the volunteers, the contributors, and everyone who put their heart and soul into getting this memorial built. It is wonderful. I applaud their work and won't forget what they've done. Thank you. Okay, Brandon, District Representative, Office of Assemblyman James Gallagher. I won't butcher your last name, <laughs> sorry. I'll have you stay up here. I am? Yep. Well, I want you to come up. Yep, let's have Bill and Jeff come up here. So it's such an honor to be here today on behalf of Assemblyman Gallagher, and he sends his best wishes. It's just such an honor every time I get to come out and honor veterans in any way, and Butte County, has some of the best people I know. I'm not from here, I'm from Sacramento, but I'm happy to call Butte County my new home, and I'm very, very honored to be here today. And I just wanna thank everybody who put work into this park, be it big or small, and thank all of the veterans whose names are on that wall, and everyone here today, and everyone serving out there as we're sitting here, and present this certificate of the grand opening ceremony to Bill and Jeff here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jeff Shainer. I'm the youngest son of Paul Stewart Stu Shainer. Uh, I promised him before he left the earth uh, that I would see his project to the end until every last detail is finished. 
I have been trying to think about what my father would say, and then I thought to myself, why not say a few of his words about the wall as he wrote them in his column in the Orville Mercury Register, looking back on Orville's heroes, which can be researched at OrvilleVeteransMemorialPark.org, thanks to Daryl. Uh, this is from May 7, 2004. Many are, many are wondering about our tile wall in the memorial. Our tile committee has finished their design. Ted Granger, Doug Krauss, Bill Fox, Ed Ewald, Bob Jackson, and Dick Ferguson have been working hard on this for a long time. Soon we will have order forms. The tiles will be polished black granite, 6 by 12, and will be sold for $50 each. Each tile will represent one serviceman or woman who served in the armed forces of the United States of America and who served in time of war or in time of peace since the Revolutionary War. These tiles can be used to honor a living veteran, a man or woman currently in the service, or those that have served our country long ago. Now is the time to search your family tree. Like me, you will find many that deserve this honor. And this is from May 2nd, 2014. The wall will be a beautiful granite wall with the names of the heroes of America. It will tell a story of where they served and when they served our country so gallantly. It will have medals earned. Some will say KIA, killed in action. It will tell of their sacrifice so we could be free. So I could write this article without worry of repercussions. It will have among the names Revolutionary War soldiers on up to the Gulf War, men and women who served our country in war and peace. Many memorials just put up a name for more than the price of our tiles. Our tiles tell a story that when students come from all over Butte County on field trips, Orville High School students can walk down. They will learn what freedoms they have that were given to them by the men and women whose names are on the wall. God bless them all. And that, and that brings, brings us, us to today. And, and I, I can, can tell you that Stu Shainer is looking down with a big smile on his face, thankful that we are here today, and would like to remind you that we still have a long way to go and still need a lot more donations if we are going to make this park the youth field trip destination it deserves to become. Thank you. Okay, what a beautiful, warm morning. <laughs> um, I'd like to give you a little of what's happened here and what's going to happen. 17 years ago, Stu Shainer came up with an idea of a memorial for those that fell during time of war from Oroville. He conceived this idea, but we all know he'd be really proud of what it is now and what it's going to be. From that conception, it was decided it would be a destination, a point that honors the fallen veterans from all of Butte County. Countless hours were put into site selection by volunteers. And I might add, many of them have passed. We've lost 27 of our original volunteers. Then more hours were put in by volunteers to vet a design. This design was an idea that was given freely by many people. They just wanted to honor those that served in case they themselves had served or they just had a relative that served. It was firmly decided this would be a public place but not a picnic place. This would be a place of quiet reflection and meditation on the sacrifices of our veterans. A place of such magnitude, people would be moved to understand why people serve and of their sacrifices. What we have completed today is symbolic of what is yet to come. This wall of honor with 840 names is a show of the support by this memorial park by people all across the United States. Groups of people here in the county. And I don't know, you know what else to say except that this wall is hopefully drives us to attain our goal and get your attention to help us finish this project. As you read the names and organizations listed, please remember the best is yet to come. To honor those that have fallen from Butte County, there will be six large memorials. Right here, 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 here. 
These are the ones that gave the ultimate sacrifice. We'll then install a large flagpole of the American flag here. There's going to be final walkways and a pavilion. This rock is temporary. There'll be a bugler in World War II battle attire. He'll be seven feet tall, several feet off the ground, bronze. We're going to have a service dog statue, thanks to one of our members. <laughs> and yet, it'll be paved all the way in from, from Montgomery Street. Nothing that's done here will be anything but first class to honor those that have fallen. Lastly, I'd like to thank all of you for taking time out of your busy lives for being here today. Thank our servicemen and women for their service. I can never say enough to the full Butte County Board of Supervisors. I saw Larry here earlier. If any of you are here, they've always supported this project, never wavered. The staff of Butte County has given up much of their own monies out of their budget when we fell short, and we have to thank them for that. I have, I have to, to thank, thank the city of Warville for coming to light. To light. <laughs> thank you, Mayor, for that, to, to help, help us with this project. But and most of all, there's veterans and non-veterans that have showed up the third Monday of every month for near 17 years in support of this project. They've never wavered. A big thank you to you, them. Thank you. We're about, We're about done, done here. here. Jeff has any closing remarks? No, just, uh, just uh, welcome, welcome and enjoy. enjoy. <laughs> All right, we're done. Thank you. We got water, There's water and ice chest right there. Hello, uh, what are your guys' names and how did you get involved with the Veterans Memorial Wall? What's the inside story on that? My name is Ron Charver. I've been a long time member of the American Legion, uh, Post 95 here in Orville, and a co founder and treasurer of the Veterans Memorial Park Committee. And my name is Jeff Shainer, and my father was also the, the dreamer of the park, I guess you'd say. He had the vision. He had the vision. Okay, and how did this come about? Well, uh, the Shaner family and my family, we used to go to Fort Bragg together every summer. And uh, Stu and I were sitting around the campfire one night after a day of fishing. And uh, he knew I was involved in veterans things. And he asked me, he says, Ronnie, is, I grew up here and I know there's a lot of servicemen that passed that I knew. But I don't know where, where to go find and, and, and honor them. And I said, well, Stu, there's got to be a list somewhere and we'll, I'll, I'll find it. And there wasn't. And that's when he kicked into full gear. And uh, he was committed at that point that he was going to have a memorial. And it was going to be a nice memorial, not just something with names on it. And that's what has gotten us to this point after 17 years. 17 years. And uh, what kind of steps did it take to get here? Right now, it took a lot of. Uh, Bargaining with different government agencies, the city, uh, Butte County. Uh, it took fundraisers. It took planning. We started meetings right away. The design was the first thing that we uh, had to be clear on. Uh, we got chalkboards up, and we went through all kinds of different scenarios what we could do. At the time, there was uh, five houses here? Yeah, I believe there was five houses along. They were run on down this, houses. On this lot. They were all run down, dilapidated. All dilapidated uh, and the challenge was to purchase those homes. And that took, oh gosh, a good six, seven years just to and get to And a that lucky point. downturn in the real estate market. <laughs> and a luck that helped. <laughs> they got us a good deal. And, uh, and then Butte County came on board and uh, They've, they've just been outstanding in their support and help and, and funding. And originally it was just going to be an Oroville Veterans Memorial Park, but then to get the county involved opened up a whole lot more resources, so it really helped. 
uh, and it would make sense anyway that we should have include the whole county right make our park bigger and better and like I say we still have a long way to go I like to remind people that <laughs> and uh, we still need do lots of donations and lots of help and lots of support and uh, where do people go to find uh, out yeah. about the fundraisers and the support that oh, they need to continue to get? You can go to OrvilleVeteransMemorialPark.org. Okay. And, and yeah. American Legion on Facebook as well. American okay. Legion on Facebook. There's also a Facebook page for the park here as well. Okay. And we update regularly that people can go to. I'll make sure I put all those in the Thank links you. below the video. I appreciate that. We do have a major fundraiser. Uh, it's our fourth year of doing it uh, in conjunction with Feather Falls Casino. Uh, we have a dinner and dance in our Veterans Memorial Hall. We have a downstairs ballroom that is, is equal to, I mean, it's one of the best uh, large stage. Uh, we do a tri-tip dinner and dance. Uh, Feather Falls pays for the band Decades, which is a very popular local band. Uh, they play everything from Chuck Berry to Katy Perry. Uh, I think I said her name right. <laughs> but they're very good, and they've supported us throughout this from the very beginning. And that's October 28th. And uh, we'd sure like to have a large turnout. All right. And don't forget our motorcycle run as well. Uh, I'm not sure of the date on that. But I wanted to say September 20th, but I'm not sure. Let me check that out. Okay. And a little bit more history before even this park was uh, accomplished. Uh, my father, his first project was the Orville Dam. Uh, the man who died building Orville Dam, if you go up by the spillway, there is a monument there with all the names of the 34 men who died building oh, Orville Dam. So this was, this was his, his, his life, you know, his, his second life project. Archery Lane, you know, his name that's amazing. And, yeah. and he, he was in the last year of that when we had that discussion at Fort Bragg. And he said, Ryan, when I get that done, We'll start on this, and the next summer we met again and started talking about ways to do it, and he contacted the right people. I'd like to say that uh, in addition to what Jeff said about the Butte County uh, piece of it, Stu did so much research, and he had uh, people from Chico State helping as well, and we ran into so many names from all around Butte County. There are more names that are going to be on the monuments from Chico than anywhere else. Oh wow. And so it we have had difficulty getting support from all the other communities, but we're hoping that you know they'll see that this is for them too. It's not just for Orville. This is for all of Butte County. And Stu was adamant about it. we're gonna we found those names, we're gonna use them. And, and that was the thing too, there was no there's no list. The government doesn't keep a list of who from your community passed away. So you had to go uh, search microfilm. We had uh, we enlisted uh, 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 several of Chico State's uh, students have done projects just researching microfilm, looking for names of servicemen and women, and uh, it's been amazing. All the help. And it's really been a community effort. Do you remember uh, we had a lady? contacts to with crates of newspapers that she had since 19 I want to say 1938 all the way up to Vietnam War and Stu, I had them at my house for a while, some of them, going through them, but he had them all over. Yeah, and, and like I said, each and every he put all, all, all the stories are online, and you can search just on for a, a family member, and there's a good chance he wrote about it. You search your last name on the, on his on the Orville Veterans Memorial.org website, and there's a good chance you might find it. Stu was tirelessly dedicated to, to doing that. He never missed a week of having that article. Uh, his heart and soul is is so evident here as I look around. I can remember when they first put in the brush, uh, the bushes and the flowers over there. He would be down here, I'd come by to do something, and he'd be down here with the broom sweeping the sidewalks. I mean, he was tireless. So devoted, and I miss him so much. Well, thank you guys for all your work, and it's an incredible accomplishment you guys have uh, made here. And there's still more work to do, right? Right. Thank you. All right. Thank you very Thank much. You.